Hello, Lulas. Welcome back to my channel. Girl, what? Make sure that you are subscribed by clicking the red subscribe button. Make sure you click the bell to be a part of the notification squad. And did I say join the chatterbox? The link is in the description bar. If you do need a dollar and 99 cents per month to join and you do have to be at least 18 years old to join. By the way, we do have another live stream coming up soon. Um, I'm doing them a little bit more frequent than usual because, you know, with the quarantining and all that great jazz, we need to spend a little bit of time and bond. Okay, so let's get into the meat and potatoes. The meat and potatoes. Okay, never mind. Let's not do this today. Okay, I'm going to try to keep it straight so I can stay focused. Okay, so today you are looking at my little boy, Noah. And Noah is the Willow Asleep. Um, sculpt by Claire Teller. He is the prototype number two. He is not for sale. <laughs> Just FYI, he is not for sale. I know the last video, some people kind of kind of trigger people to start asking me again. Um, he is a very expensive, exquisite piece of art, and I have decided and have find a found a way to not feel like I have to sell him. That's a whole nother subject in itself I've already kind of went over that why I feel like sometime I need to sell when I have more than one very expensive baby in my collection anyway anywho ha ha so moving right along okay so I today I wanted to talk to you guys about like some of the things that I look for when I am let me get this camera right okay some of the things that I look for when I am shopping for a silicone baby in general. Number one, of course, when I first started, I just wanted to have a silicone baby that just even remotely looked like a baby. <laughs> Um, that felt good, that was cuddly. It was more about the feel at first than as I start to go up into how much money I was spending and stuff. I wanted more into the doll than just the feel. It became more about the sculpting and then the more and more I started spending money, it was more about the painting, the sculpting, the whole package. But just some of the main things. Number one, a lot of sculptors, a lot of artists, when they're showing their babies, Rather, it's reborns or prototypes. I feel like they just miss the whole point when they're showing the babies, especially prototype artists. Prototype artists make me sick sometimes. I mean, this is not to everybody. This just is in general. I they, they irritate my soul because they spend all this time taking 100 photos of the baby laying just like this. They will take the picture coming from down this way, from this way, looking upwards on top of the baby, down low to the baby, but the baby hasn't moved. We haven't seen the other side of the baby. Can I see the, this side of the baby? We haven't seen the arms straightened out. We haven't seen no different poses. We haven't moved the leg up, moved it down. We haven't seen anything but those same pose, but you've taken the picture a hundred different type of ways with the baby laying in the same position. That is irritating. Number two, and this is for a vinyl. When a vinyl, the prototype artists have hat on the baby, passing in the mouth, clothes filled up. Ma'am, we're not buying your clothes. We're not buying your photography. I need to see the freaking sculpt. Can I, can I see the sculpt? Can I see what the limbs look like? Please remove hand mitts so I can see the dang on hands. Can I see if they're open or closed? Some babies, I don't even know if they're a full limb or not. I mean, he's going to stay in this outfit, but I might take it off just in the middle of the video. It depends on how manic I get during the process. But I, we want to see the, the sculpt because when we buy the blank kit and your, your job as a prototype artist is to market the kit. Not to market your clothes, not to market your photography. And I know at the same time they want to sell the doll. But we want to see the kit because especially as artists, we want to see what we would be painting and what we could do with it and visualize the potential of the kit. 
So please, and if it's got a belly plate, can we see the belly plate? Can we, you know, if it don't have a belly plate, can we, matter of fact, just show me the baby and just cloth. You know what I mean? I think for a prototype artist, I think that should be a mandated requirement. I think the, the, the prototype artist should always include a picture of the baby in just a cloth. When you go on eBay and you go to Randy, she's like a known co consistent seller on eBay. This lady always in her thing and that's what I always go I go I always scroll all the way to the bottom of her um auction she always include a picture of the the doll in just the cloth please can we do that anyway now let's move into silicone babies when I'm looking for a silicone baby I'm not going to get into the logistics of the sale part right now but I'm just going to say what I'm looking for so when I the first thing I'm looking for with my silicone baby is First of all, I want to look at the baby and see if it looks real. Okay, he already passed that test. Boom. All right, so then I like to look at the positions of the hands, the positions of the feet, um, the... So I'll, I'll look at the, the, you know, the hands, I'll look at the feet, um, and... The reason why I like to look at the positions of the hands and the feet um, is because I like for the babies to have somewhat of a natural or relaxed look in their their limbs because the babies are not going to be moving. So when I pose them or when I'm looking at them, that's going to be the thing that make them look, you know, even more realistic to me and it won't throw me off. I don't want to have to keep them on socks and hand mitts all the time. Um, I rarely put that on my babies a lot of times anyway. Um, so the other thing is I, the position of the legs, the floor. I typically do not like the, you know, very dramatic posing in one. I don't typically like when the baby have one leg up or one leg down or... I don't like the butterfly flare out, although I just, I, I, I look at it and I like it and I say, oh my gosh, that looks so cute because that's so realistic. See, so some of the things that doll collectors like, like myself, is not always the most realistic thing. We say we like realistic, but sometimes we really don't because the, the position of the legs in the frog position where it's flared out like that, that is very realistic for a newborn baby, um, especially since having... My grandbaby, it reminded me of that when I went to see her, she kept her little legs in like froggy position and I just kept laughing because I'm like, oh my God, if you were a doll, I would so be mad with this. But, <laughs> you know, I was just like, you know, changing her diaper and she's like, and I'm like, uh-uh, little mama, you know, like, and it's like, she's just like, and her little legs are all balled up. So that's realistic, but it's not something I like in my dolls. So that's a personal preference. Um, the other thing I don't like in silicone that I look for is I want to see the body, like the, the body shape, like the tummy shape. I don't like balloon bellies because the silicone, the thicker the silicone is, the less cuddly it's going to be unless it has a squishy tummy, a true squishy tummy with the like, where it like, it, it mush in the inside is more like a memory foam or whatever you want to call it. It's like, you know, memory foam, you know what I mean? Like in the inside type thing. So, old joke, sorry. Um, <laughs> but, um, you know, it, it that then that don't really matter. But, you know, like he can bend in his midsection and that's because he's not too too thick in the tummy I like soft I like very soft as you can see even though his legs are swaying they don't look like they're not real because first of all the sculpting is real so I mean even doing that he's still you know what I mean and that's really like making him I'm just like you know he, he you know I just I want some consistency, but not 
too firm. And I know people will be like, oh, real babies are not that wobbly. Oh, gosh, get over yourself. I need the doll to feel fluid in my arms. And where when I, you know, hold them up, you know, when I hold them, they can cuddle. They can, you know, scrunch up. You know what I mean? So, come on, baby. Let me get you. I'm going to just go ahead and do this for the video. I'll put it back on his clothes. We got time, right? Well, I don't know. Time. The time is a ticking. Where is this? How does this thing go? Gee, challenge. That's too much. Dang, I'm slow. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Um, but yeah, a lot of times in the silicone videos, people will, I'm going to show you what the artists do. And it irritates my soul. I, I mean, like, I be like, you are setting my soul on fire with this foolishness. Like, why are you doing that? Who told you that was, you know, a good selling point? I need y'all to take marketing one-on-one. -on -one. <laughs> you know, but bless their little hearts. They be trying. They they be excited. They got their doll. They, and, a lot, and a lot of these people that's making dolls now are not real doll collectors, so... They don't know what we like. And then some of them, they dog collectors from way back when, you know, from the 1800s. They pretty much only collect porcelain dolls, so, you know, and stuff like that. So they, they're not used to people wanting to see actual movement or nothing like that because those dolls didn't move. So it's kind of like, here's my doll, guys. No, that's not what we want. You you want too much money to be talking about, here's my doll, guys. Yeah, okay, you're gonna get $50 for that show. Um, so they'll do this, and the head easily turns. See, head easily turns from left to right. Then they pick the doll up, and it's poured in one piece. And as you can see, it goes back, and they'll just do this, okay, whatever. And then they'll be like, and it's soft silicone and so it's squishy and they have as you can see it is a very good sized baby and he is detailed but i can't show you this because of youtube okay and let me show you oh no they don't show you the back sorry <laughs> going too far giving them too much credit they don't do the back and cute little belly button and does take a full pacifier never put a pacifier in but they're gonna tell you to take a full pacifier take a full pacifier it does have gums and uvula i don't know if you can see that um and you know you know very nice very nice very nice and i rooted the hair with the best goat in the world and yeah and i tipped the nails and it's just it's the, my own soft blend from my great grandmama recipe. Guys, this doll will cost you about $20,000. If you like what you see, find my link in the description bar or it'll run across the screen right now because I'm going to auction it off and make you guys fight for this shit. Okay. This is what we really want to see. He is soft silicone. His head easily turns and holds its position from side to side. He has a very soft, squishy face. Oh yeah, I forgot to tell y'all that his skin wrinkles like a real baby and then have all these big dinosaur wrinkles. Never mind. Okay, I'm, I'm gonna stop. And then we would like to say he does have a tongue. He has top gums and a uvula, which is what we call tonsils. He does take a pacifier. It is best if you use either powder or KY jelly to for it to ease in the mouth easier. I'm going to apply this just around here, not a big glob. He does have a drinking wet system. Only water. Don't go out and buy no Similite or Infamil. It is. Um, sorry. And then, so 
we demonstrate. See, he does take a passing. It is all the way in his mouth, as you can see. All right. So now that I've showed you that, I'm going to show you he does have See, his fingers are separated here, and these are together. However, all of these are separated on this hand. Okay? He is flexible. He has nice sized legs. He wears, usually in clothes, zero to three months. He can wear some newborn onesies. Some three month clothes he can wear. All the clothes size depends on the brand. In Carter's, sometimes he often fits three months. Most of y'all has dropped in Carter's like me. Don't be acting like you don't. All right. Now I'm going to turn him over so you can see his back. So you don't miss when you get the baby home and see a huge big old seam down the middle of the back. Thank you for showing me that. You're a great shower. Okay. So... This is his back, as you can see. Very well sculpted, a very clean pour, okay? He has a very nice bum bum, which if you wanna see more pictures of him and his bum bum in his diaper area, please check my website where I am free to share more photos without limitations. As you know, there are rules and policies on YouTube that doesn't allow me to do that he has little armpits and stuff like that now one of the things I want to show you and I don't recommend that you do this with your doll because this is not the way that you handle a silicone doll or any doll of this type of value but I will show you that his midsection not just his head but his midsection is flexible and he does thin okay and as you can see without any hands back there his head will fall back that is the safest way to show you without trying to rough house my doll and of course because of the arch in his back it is very easy to show you this way that he does bend and he will bend almost in half because he is soft but not too soft to where he's like a Roman noodle. And don't act like you ain't never had Roman noodles either. And if you did, then it don't even matter what the doll look like because you got enough money to buy it anyway. But like I said, he does wrinkle nicely. Beautiful painting, um, nice veins, mottling all the nice details. He is a silicone baby, so there will be some imperfections. You may see a little, you know, area that's not this even or stuff like that, you know, within the painting, stuff like that. Um, all right. When giving him a bottle, you just give him the bottle the water goes down and comes out his, you know what, ha. Huh? And when you, to make sure, just to make sure that everything is out, I suggest that you hold the baby upright like this. And then, you know, and then make sure you change the diaper. Okay. Um, also, it's very important to show the collectors that this foot is open toe, big toe, and open pinky toe, and this one is a ball foot. Now we know we can't go buy sandals. We can't buy sandals that go between the toes because this one don't have an open thing. Thank you. Thank you for sharing. Uh-huh. So he can wear like regular sandals that doesn't have the thong between the toe or closed-in shoes with no problem. His feet size is like a size one when buying like shoes like baby deer stuff like that um you might can fit him in some zero zeros or zero to three if that's the way the shoe size go i rarely put my babies on shoes so i can't go into details of brands and all the only thing i know about is baby deer don't ask me nothing else because i don't know so those are some of the things that we like to see 
We want to see the head shape of the baby. Well, I do. Um, head is soft, not too, too soft. Um, like I said, you, we want we want to see these things. I actually want to see the whole nine yards. I want to see everything. I want to make sure that you don't have no throw it on, let it stick private part on there that look like it's going to fall off any day because you ain't blended in and nothing just... Jack and Jill just hanging by a thread down there. I don't want that. You know, so, you know, those are the things that we like to see. We want to see, you know, and if they have an armature, he has armatures, guys. So let me show you the armature. Stop it. Go back to sleep. Sorry, he was trying to open his eyes and I'm like, I can't let them know that you open your eyes sometimes. Okay, so. He doesn't open his eyes for real. Gosh, I know somebody's going to ask me that. But let me show you. He does have armatures, elbow armatures, and just his elbow. That way he can straighten out his arm. Or he can push it back to hold a pose. Well, he's soft, so. But you know what I'm saying. Like, it, it stays up in that position. <laughs> Don't be hard-headed, Noah. See? And it helps him, you know, when, like, I'm trying to give him a, his, his thumb or something. Like, I have him leaned over to the side. The armatures will kind of help. You just push it in right there. And it kind of helps usually. But, you know, I have to really take my time and do that part. But, yeah, so he does have elbow armatures, no armatures in his legs. As he don't need them when they're soft like that. Even he don't really need them in the elbow. But I like the armatures in the elbow just because I do like that it'll hold it in place a little bit more for me and help me with different poses and stuff like that. So that is 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 the idea. We want to know how long they are. Um, unfortunately, I don't never remember his length. I think it's 21 inches, but I never remember. Um, but yeah, so we want to we want to see everything. We want to we 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 want to see movement. We want to see you when you pick them up. We we want to see you, you know, you know, moving the doll around, not just look at my doll. Bloop 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 bloop. We don't we we want to see some movement, some poses, some baby something. I don't know if that makes sense. So that are some of the things that I look for. Um, You know, my main thing is I want it to be able to take a pacifier. I don't want to spend thousands of dollars for a doll that can't take a pacifier. I mean, that was, of course, one of the main things that got me into wanting a silicone is that I'm lazy and I don't want to modify pacifiers. So I love the fact that they could take a pacifier and I could just go buy pacifiers out the store and pop it in their mouth. And it just it was just a main attraction for me. So... For people to like want me to buy a silicone not knowing if it take pacifiers and I'll be honest with you it 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 it's a pet peeve of mine for a full body silicone baby to have to take a modified pacifier because you didn't care enough to give me a full mouth like you you didn't I mean I'm like to me that just ticks me off because now I gotta walk around with this expensive behind all with a cut pacifier nipple. I, I don't want to do that. Because some of the nipples, the pacifiers that I buy for silicone babies, maybe exquisite or vintage or whatever. And now I can't even use it on the doll because you decided that you didn't care enough to make sure that it took a full pacifier. I'm going to need y'all to do better. Thank you. Sorry. Got a little caught up. But, oh child. Come on baby, get this. All right. And of course, you know, people say, oh, well, the soft silicone, they've been in, you know, awkward positions. Yes, of course. And if you take a real child and sling it around a certain way, their leg might get bent too. So, you know, just handle it like a, 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 a real baby with care and you'll end up doing a little bit better. Although, because they're not able to move themselves, you still may end up having them a bent you know, foot might bend over like awkwardly and you're like, uh, that's not good. 
you know, just, you know, and be, be, you know, make sure you, you pay attention to that when you're doing your videos. I've, I've seen, went back to one of my videos and was like, that baby leg was bent the whole time in the video. Delete. I don't even want to show the video no more. It just ruins my whole mood, blows me, blows my happy high. Okay. All right, so we getting him back in his thing because this is what he gonna wear for the month of June, probably July. Maybe we'll change him for August, but yeah. Anyway, he just looks so cute and I just, somebody said, who that girl said that? She's so messy. Nima, Nima, talking about he looked like a whole um, school bus toy, a tr toy, tr toy truck or something, she said. I'm like, <laughs> girl, don't do him. Don't do him in his outfit. Tell me he look like a whole. He do it. She said, and all I can think about is a Lego set. I don't know why I did that, but it did. I was like, don't, don't, don't talk about his outfit because I really think this outfit is everything. But anyway, this is a long video, but I thought I would give y'all something for the weekend guys make sure you are following me on instagram make sure that you come and check us out in the chatterbox if you like my regular content you will love being in the chatterbox where we just keep it straight up real in there in here in everywhere and just have fun hang out talk about dolls men children your cousin your brother each other it's it's just that type of party. We have a lot of fun, I think. I will at least we're getting to that point. Now, I don't usually, like I said, I don't put them on hand mitts that often, but I have this new thing with Noah. I like to see him in the yellow hand mitts, thanks to Summer Breeze. She got me always wanting to put the baby on the, the yellow, even if he ain't even got on yellow. I like the yellow on him. But anyway. That is it. Thanks, guys, for watching. See you guys later. Bye-bye now. Oh, did y'all not see him with his bottle? Yes, honey. Yes. Okay, baby. That's a long video, child. I, I done did a whole sitcom. Y'all talking about y'all don't want to pay a dollar and nine and nine. Child, you better get your life.